We begin with new video into the CBS 4 newsroom of a deadly accident in Miami. You can see the collision in the highlighted area there. The crash involved nearly a dozen vehicles. And take a look at this. This is another angle. Look how fast it's going as it approaches that intersection. CBS 4's Donna Rapato joins us live from Jackson Memorial. Some of the victims have been treated there. And Donna, you spoke with one of those victims. We did, and he can't even remember which direction he was driving. He is so confused from the uh, impact and, uh, the, you know, the in injuries to him. Fortunately, though, they were able to release him. Now, you know, 11 total cars were involved in this crash, spinning, colliding, 10 people sent here to the hospital. Uh, one of them, unfortunately, at the initial impact, a woman, she was killed instantly. It is a violent crash, very tough to watch, where you see a City of Miami dump truck plow full speed ahead into a stopped taxi cab just a block from Marlin's ballpark. Uh, sitting in my office with a client, and we just heard a very loud noise to the point that it was so loud that it actually shook the house. All of a sudden, I hear a big impact. I thought it was a trailer or something. Here's surveillance video obtained exclusively by CBS4 with a view from the north side of the crash, people gassing up, then running to help. And you see the cab here pushed right into the middle of the intersection of Northwest 7th Street and 17th Avenue bursting into flames. Right now it's, it bothers me. A diamond cab driver Guillermo Acosta was emotional as he told us the passenger in the back seat killed instantly was a regular, a woman in her 60s who used the cab for 25 years to run nearby errands. Over at the hospital, several people who were in all the other involved cars are either recovering or being released. I already thank God for everything. I, I just born again today. Greco Diaz was in a white Honda Sonata with a friend and her six-year-old. He was just released from JMH, but mother and son are still here, though doing well. Diaz can't even remember which direction he was driving the impact so sudden and severe. That moment was awful. You don't even realize what's happening when your car is spinning. And suddenly, we just saw ourselves involved in that and that was really, you know, not even scary. It's nothing. There is nothing in your mind. That and noticeably upset, Miami's city manager did not speak directly to the media, but he did put out this statement calling the crash violent and disturbing. Our hearts go out to the family members uh, of those people that have been injured. We um, wish that those people get well as soon as possible and, and to the family of the deceased. I wish that there's comfort for them. Now, traffic homicide detectives have a lot to piece together. So much going on here, but the biggest question now, what happened to this dump truck driver who you saw seemingly going full throttle, never really slowing down? Did he have a medical issue? Was there a malfunction on the truck? Was he distracted? That is going to be a key part of this investigation. For now, at least one man remains here in serious condition. We're live at JMH. Donna Rapato, CBS4 News, tonight. Donna, thank you.